So first up for movies, we have um, three movies to find. We need a La Reina right here, this one, and a Chuck Norris for movie pack. So I think that's going to be down here. You're not going to be able to see me. <laughs> Alright, let's take this one. Yep, this one. I thought it was all Chuck Norris, but it's not. It's this action four pack. <laughs> and we also need a Blu ray called Slight. Right here. Ugh. Here we go. That Blu ray. We also need a book. Um, Babysitter's Club number 35. It's down here somewhere. 35. Found it. There it is. <laughs> okay, we have three things to grab out of here. I have a pair of shorts. These ones. These, the Tommy Bahama shorts. The Tommy Bahama shorts sold. And we also sold a Minion, this in here. We have Talking Stewart. And then we also have a set of Blank Media. We have this package of CDs. Okay, I apologize how wobbly this is. I um I had to take down my set here where my overhead camera is uh, to film a different video for our other channel and I can't seem to get it set, set back up the same. And so it's a little wobbly. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of work, I guess. I don't exactly know what, um, what the difference is, but <laughs> something. <laughs> All right, so let's get packing this morning. So uh, we have these shorts. These will be pretty easy to package. So let's do those first. These are the Tommy Bahama shorts that I picked up at Goodwill on my solo thrifting adventure. And these sold for $17. Put those right in there. I took an offer. I had it listed for a little bit more than that but I took an offer for these. Get in there. Silly shorts. Get in there. There we go. <laughs> Silly shorts. So hopefully whoever purchased them enjoys them very much. They're nice shorts. They're very soft. This tape is going to run out during today's video. All right, here are the shorts. See, there it goes. I knew it was going to. The arrow on the tape was not going in the correct direction. All right. The buyer who bought these said to package carefully and not to have any smell. I don't smell anything. So I think that might have just been a blanket statement. <laughs> wow, they paid a lot for shipping. <laughs> now, it was not a price I set for shipping. It was a price that eBay charged for shipping because eBay, I have calculated shipping on almost everything. Unless it's something I know I'm going to put in a... Um, flat rate, then I will charge like $8.99 or whatever for shipping. But $11.60 is what they paid to ship this. That's a lot. That is a lot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade them since they paid so much. I mean, I know I could take the difference and put it in my pocket, but I don't feel like that is very fair. So, 
I'm going to wrap this again going the other direction this way and I'm going to put it in a flat rate and upgrade them to priority shipping. There we go. Next up, we have, let's do these easy ones. We'll do the book and the movies. Now the book, uh, I took an offer on this two of $9. I had it listed for more than that, but I, know, I don't know much about books. I'm still learning, you know what I mean? And I know that the condition it's in makes a big difference. And I don't know how to tell what people are picky about. I can't find my box card, hold on. Oh, an upgrade, uh, update. I mentioned that I really wanted to get a box scorer and I ordered one. I uh, I took the money that I bought, that I got from this little guy, this minion, and I put that towards a box scorer. So I'm so excited when I get it. I'll show it to you guys. I'm so happy. I hope it works good. Because I think it will be a huge, um, a huge thing for me. I'm so excited because I'm doing it kind of manually now and it would be great to have a tool for that. I'm so excited. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Probably not for shipping tomorrow. Well, maybe I'll wait. Maybe I can wait on the shipping until the afternoon and see if it comes. I don't know. We'll see when it arrives. My mail comes really late really late in the day, but we'll see. Okay, I have to trim that. I have to trim this. There's a, um, a YouTuber that I watch, it's called Back From Burnout, and I totally, I, I totally feel her YouTube name, but anyway, um, she sells basically nothing but books. I mean, well, I mean, she sells other stuff, but she's mainly books, and she is such an inspiration to me. I wish I could sell stuff like her. I wish I could find stuff like her. I mean, she's in Australia. So, um, different markets, you know what I mean? And she only ships in Australia. She doesn't ship worldwide. So definitely different markets, but it's just so cool. And you can have like a niche like that and be able to sell stuff like that. And be able to find enough inventory to do that because I'm not making excuses, but I live in rural Maine. There are zero places like these guys have to go get inventory like we've what we started what started making us do this was we were we watched a show called thrift hunter i don't know if or thrifty thrifty business thrifty hunt I don't, anyway i don't remember but anyway um we started watching that and we loved it and we're like oh that would be so awesome to be able to do that as a living so we did right and the difference is, <laughs> is that he 
is based out of Las Vegas. Now, granted, more people, more competition for resellers. However, there are a gazillion stores to buy from. There's tons of yard sales, like, year-round, you know, to go to. And all this stuff, and we just don't have that here. We have about three thrift stores in an hour radius. And um, then even out of those... They are not thrift stores that you buy at to sell, you know. They're just thrift stores that you go to to maybe get a couple dollars off what you would buy it for on eBay. Like, it's not, not a reseller's thrift store. So, I don't have much to get inventory, and it's very frustrating. But, and, and, but I, I mean, I still love what I do. But it's like, these guys, they just get stuff so easy and I am just so jealous <laughs> I wish I could find stuff like that I know I have multiple people of competition around the area and it's like like a race to who can get where first and then even then like we're ship we're shopping for different items and it's just crazy though we did go to a thrift store um but when they have their clearance stuff that's a good deal but it's so busy you know what i mean it's where i got that gorky um uh pot that i sold in the last last video though i had some i found some really good stuff but they don't have it very often and their regular thrift store like if you go into the main part of the store it's not lay it's not priced to sell for us it's priced to sell for them, which was the whole point, which I totally understand. And I don't, I don't, um, discourage that. You know what I mean? Like they need, they raise money for the animals, the rescue center. So like they need it. But I, what, but my point is, is <laughs> a lot of these thrifters that you see online, they are just so lucky with what they have near them. Like a lot of, I've seen, it's huge. It's a huge, th um, uh, viral thing but like buying those lost luggages and like return items and all that stuff I can't do that in Maine I searched I looked and the only way that I could really do that kind of stuff is if I buy like go on Etsy and buy it from someone else who's already bought them so it's already a markup you know what I mean and uh I looked there's nowhere around here to do it other than through like the state of Maine government website. We just don't have any cargo areas like that, you know? And it stinks because I want to get one of those, but if I got one of those, I would have to do it through one of those auction services that then pay, then I have to pay like $300 to have it shipped here and probably more because it would have to be like out of state shipping. So needless to say, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that anytime soon, even though I want to so bad. So if anybody knows how to do that in the state of Maine, let me know because I want to do that, do a video on that so bad, but I just don't, I don't know how, because I don't know how to find stuff around here to do it. Wow, I talked a lot. <laughs> that was, I guess you know what's on my mind. <laughs> It's a four disc set. So I've been thinking, I want your opinion on this, you guys. Um, I've been thinking that, you know how Mondays are uh, a little bit more packing than you than the rest of the week. I was thinking about maybe um, doing lives when I ship on Mondays and uh, just have like a conversation, uh, you and me, while I'm packing. Would that be something you're interested in? I don't know about the time though, because I know people work <laughs> outside of the house. 
So I don't know if the timing would work. Like maybe should I do it like on a Sunday night? But then that wouldn't be everything. Hmm. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think would work out best. Um, it was just a thought I had about doing a live stream while I was packing. And uh, I don't know what you guys think. I won't do it if you guys don't like the idea. So just let me know what you think. Would you watch it? Would you join me? I'm pretty sure I could do live streams on this channel. <laughs> so let me know down in the comments if it was something that you would enjoy or what. I mean, you could always re-watch it after, you know, if you couldn't be here, I guess. But I'm not one for watching live streams if I'm not actually in the live stream. <laughs> so I know that's not re-watching live streams isn't everyone's cup of tea. My son, on the other hand, will watch live streams, old live streams without an issue. But it's not something I enjoy. So I know not everyone would enjoy it, but I also know that just because I don't enjoy it, others don't. You know what I mean? So just uh, let me know what you think. Here we go. How are you going there, little Stuart? so but I would need to make sure that he is within the weight limit that I have so let's see how much is he at okay perfect so he's fine there we go I'm going to print off my labels. Oh no, I'm not done. Hold on. I'm going to print these off and then I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, lastly, today on Etsy, we have two of Tegan's bracelets to go out. So one of our watchers, I don't know. She's a friend at this point. Uh, I don't know if she watches this channel or not, but um, anyway, uh, she purchased two of the tiger clay bracelets. So we're gonna package those up for her. Tegan was so ecstatic when he found out that someone bought the bracelets. He was so happy. So we're going to use one of these. And two of these. There's one of them. Oh, how cute is this? And here is the other one right in there. Then we'll put it in here, the best day ever bag. There we go. How cute. Is this not the cutest? I'm in love. All right, then. We will wrap this up. No, I don't want that tape. Just kidding, I don't want that tape. <laughs> I want this tape that I haven't opened yet. <laughs> it's so heavy duty, I can't get it. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that went downhill. It was looking so good. And then all of a sudden the tape didn't work anymore. Okay. 
We'll pack that Put right under there. There. How cute. Okay, and then we'll put it in one of these. And put the handwritten note in there. There we go. This is some heavy duty packing tape. Holy moly. Or maybe I'm just not used to it being so thick because I use that eBay tape all the time. It's crazy. There's that. And then I want one of my stickers. Thank you. Okay. And now I gotta print off my label. Good afternoon. It is uh, a mon another Monday. Uh, I know. <laughs> to edit a video. I'm hoping to do that tomorrow. I have gone like, what, two weeks now with no video and I do apologize. It was not intentional. Really? <laughs> anyway, I have um, nine things that I need to package up. So let's go find them. I only have a few movies, not a lot of movies today. I have Alvin and the Chipmunks, and the First Night Blu-ray. I sold one of these, I think it was last week, and then boom, all three of them sold like that. And that is it out of here. The rest are in the other section. Okay. <clears throat> All right, out of here, I just have a couple of things in this tote, which you can't see. <laughs> in this box, we have a set of wedding invitations. They're tuxedo wedding invitations. Just that. And in here, we have two things to grab. We have our last filter set and also a wind detector thingy, my bob. One of these things. I don't know what it is. I sold it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> and then out of here, this big lot of uh, this thing full of lots of movies that we really didn't think we'd sell any of these and we had just packed up for us to put in to our yard sale but we actually sold a lot of these <laughs> so now I need to find which one it is it's an action one I think it's right here yep this one so this set, this lot of movies. I had to put them out here in this section because I ran out of room with my movies in the other room. Now, hello. Did you like my yellow shoes? They're my yellow Crocs. I love them. <laughs> there we go. All right. So here is everything that needs to be packaged up today. So let's do the easy ones first. So we have this package of favors. These are little tuxedo boxes. I've had these for a long time. I think I got them at the bins, the Goodwill bins, uh, a long, long time ago. And these sold for $4.99 plus shipping. Right. Next up, we have these. These are they're tinks, 
electric wind detector cartridges. I guess you put them in a little thingy, squirts up a mist of some sort. I don't know what exactly. And uh, it tells you which direction the wind is blowing to each his own. I don't know what you would use this for that you can't just use a water bottle for, but maybe it's like, um, maybe it has like a stronger color or like a tint to it so that you can see it. I don't know. I forgot my bubble wrap. Hold on. I uh, had to buy bubble wrap and um, I didn't want to. I'm actually looking at getting some of the paper bubble wrap. It's like honeycomb. I'm looking into when I have to get bubble wrap again, getting that. I had to get bubble wrap this time instead of the honeycomb stuff because I ran completely out. Uh, I, I <laughs> didn't realize I thought I had another roll of bubble wrap and I didn't. So I was completely out. So I needed to go to the store and buy it and this is all they had. But I plan on getting some of the honeycomb bubble wrap so that I can use the paper kind instead. So I plan on doing that. I have to find it online at a decent price. Just because I think the paper would be would be better, especially if it's recycled paper. Oh, that um, scent cartridge that sold for uh, seven ninety nine, but it is going international, so they paid international shipping for that. My rotary cutter keeps falling apart. I think I'm missing a piece. <laughs> in it. it doesn't rotary anymore. It just cuts. And then I have to replay, put it back together again. Chipmunks meets Frankenstein's monster. I am in a little bit of a fog this afternoon. Now, normally I package things first in the morning, but I had to go get groceries this morning. And then I, I did some work, and now it's time to pack stuff up. But I'm a little, I'm a little out of it. I'm a little zombie, uh, Elvin. I'm, I'm zombie bin right now. <laughs> so I guess this will be more of an ASMR type packing than anything. All right, we have Star Lord and Ronin. I think this is the one I needed. Yep. Let's see. Uh, both of those movies were $5.99 with free shipping. Star-Lord here is $10.99. Now I get to use my box score that I got. I told you I was going to get one. And, whoops. And I did. Moving you guys around. This is my box score. So this has a little sharp wheel on it. And um, this is goes in the box. I can't wait to show you how it works. I love it. I love it. Okay, so, uh, let's see. How far down does this need to go? Oh, it's set up pretty much perfectly. So there's a couple ways that you can do it. Uh, I'm going to 
go around this part because that's what it's set up for. I'll take Star Lord out. So what you do is it has this little lip here, little wheelie here, and you put this on the lip. Now that seems a little low. Is that low? Yeah, that's a little low. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up, uh, down just a little, like this. Okay, so here we go. Now, let's see, is that a good height? Yeah, that's a better height. Okay, so now that I'm at my height, and so I just kind of drag it along the box like that around each side. I'm still getting, I'm still practicing with it. I'm not perfect with it, but you do that around all four sides. And this cuts down on a step for me that I was showing you before when I was cutting boxes where I had to score it with a box cutter. Now I could just go straight down to my dotted line on all four corners. So they'll be the same height. And then once I do that, I just kind of support the middle, but it's that fold. Isn't that awesome? I'm so glad I got this. Uh, I'll have it in my Amazon affiliate link down below if you are interested in one of these. This is so cool. I love it. And it has like a ruler on here. So you can use a ruler and it goes all the way. I'll adjust this so you can see. So see the ruler doesn't start at one. It starts a little bit before the three, more around the two, so that it encompasses this part of the bit in the ruler. So if you need a six inch score, you can just go set it to here and it'll be six inches down to the little wheel. Isn't that neat? I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> little toys. <laughs> and it wasn't too much. It was like $15, I think. So it wasn't too, too bad. Put him right there. Fold over my size. I got so excited talking about the box that I forgot to fold over my sides here. So. Right. And I'm gonna just cut off these flaps because I don't need those. On this. Cut those off. Okay, and then There we go. Star Lord is all packaged up. All right, next up we have Shining Armor. This is a fashion style Shining Armor. And he sold for $29.99. We picked him up at we picked him up at a yard sale. No, we did not. We picked him up at Goodwill. We got him at Goodwill. I'm gonna try to not squish his mane because I don't want his mane to be all messed up when he gets where he's going because he 
is going international. I'm going to put him in a little box too. If I had taken an offer on him, I probably would have um, just put, in, put him in an envelope and sent him away. But where he's going international, they paid full price and they paid international shipping. I will put him in a box and send him to where he's going. use my box score again <laughs> so now I'll go there exciting I love new tools I love um, office supplies. <laughs> There is Shining. He's all set. Okay, next up, we have these movies here, this lot of action movies. shipping. All right, and now we have these cartridges. How big is this? I don't remember. Five by five by four. So this is going to need an eight by six by four box as well. 
this one will be cut a different way. Lastly, we have this Timex clock. And this sold for $15.99 plus shipping. We have a lot of little items 
some boxes today. And there we go. I am all done packing stuff up for today.